We now have a UI table view that can display our model. The model is an unismutable array of OW space objects. Let's take this a step further and add a segue to our application. A segue is used to switch from one view controller to another view controller. This allows you to have multiple scenes in your application. There are a few different types of segues and various ways to initiate segues. In our case, when a user taps on a cell corresponding to an OW space object, we are going to segue to another view controller that, that displays that OW object space image. We are going to use a UI navigation controller, which is a specialized view controller that manages a hierarchy of view controllers. You can think of it as a container of view controllers. These view controllers are passed in the container in a stack with the first view controller known as the root view controller on the bottom. When one needs to segue from the first view controller, then they push to a second view controller. Let's take a look at how that works. So we see here we have our root view controller, which is the first view controller we see. And when we push to the second view controller, we're simply adding another view controller on top of the stack. If the user wants to go back to the first view controller, then they pop off the second view controller from the stack. What must be noted is the first view controller is always present or always held in memory and always remains in the view hierarchy. We can also say that the view controller is persisted, which also means to be held in memory. And what this means is properties or classes or instances that we set up inside of our first view controller will be persisted even though we push a new view controller on top. However, when we pop a view controller off of the stack, all the instances or objects that view controller holds will be deallocated. So now that we've all learned all about navigation controllers, how do we add one to our project? Well, open up your out of this world Xcode project and go to your storyboard. And we're gonna go to, we're gonna make sure that we have our view controller selected in our scene outline. And we can go to editor and go down to embed in. And we're gonna select navigation controller. So what this is going to do is it's going to add a navigation stack and we can go ahead and we can now select on our table view controller this top bar that gets added for us. And you've probably seen this before in applications where you've been able to navigate to new pages or go back to an old page from the navigation bar. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a title in here and we're going to call this planets. We can hit return and now we see that this is great because now our page is going to be labeled planets, which is what we're going to be displaying inside of our table view. Let's go ahead and run our application and make sure again that you're running this on the iPhone Retina 4 inch screen. And let's take a look at what our navigation controller looks like and let's make sure that it actually has been properly added. So after my simulator loads up, sometimes it takes a second to do, we see that now I have planets up here and that actually my table view has shifted down because I've added this navigation bar at the top. 